Well, I, I suppose the thing to remember about refugees is they're not once, it's like not like saying, you know, uh, I don't know, one specific subset of people. A refugee is a legal definition that applies to somebody who's had their asylum claim granted. But they're, you know, all shapes and sizes, all creeds and colours. It's simple. It's like calling somebody a citizen. That's all it is. There, there, there are no real common characteristics other than you've had to leave your home because of something awful that's happened. And there are five definitions under the refugee legislation. Uh, so you have to have suffered persecution as a result of race, religion, nationality, political opinion or membership of a particular social group, which is often your, your um, sexuality. There are a million different reasons that people leave from lots of different countries all over the world and they go to usually their neighbouring country. The vast majority of refugees uh, in the world are living in the country that's right beside wherever they've had to leave. In terms of, of the refugees living in Ireland, again, they're all shapes and sizes, uh, you know, they're all creeds and colours from very, very different backgrounds. But w without exception, you know, they're very happy to have left the context they were in. They're very sad, oftentimes they miss their home, but it's too unsafe for them to leave their home. We've had, I've had lots of clients crying, crying in my office. Um, you know, talking about what it used to be like before the war or what it used to be like before such and such a president took over and made things really difficult for them. So while they're happy to be here and safe, uh, oftentimes they really do miss home. But home has changed for them. Um, but yeah, I, like, I, I, I've never met, I have yet to meet somebody to say, I've come here for the benefits. They all want to work. I, yeah. Before the Supreme Court case a few years ago, um, the NBU case, um, asylum seekers had no right to work mm -hmm. and they were going insane sitting in, some of them uh, genuinely with you know mental health difficulties as a result of being forced to sit in direct provision all day long with nothing to do, some of them in really rural areas. And that's not an insult to rural areas, it's an insult to the government that puts them in places where you know, they might be Muslim and there's no mosque and there's nothing for them to do and they can't work.